a Supply 2.0 razor, and an SE shave setting plate coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and wet savers everywhere. It's MargaretGeorgeTune.com. I'm back, another video. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. Great to see you again. Love getting together and talking all things traditional wet shave with you. Also doing a little bit of a deep dive on some shaving gear, which is what we're going to be doing today. And if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, in previous shave reviews and also in the Monday morning mailbag, I have been talking about the Supply SE razor. Boy, this thing is really a terrific, terrific razor. It's an injector razor, and it gives an absolutely wonderful, delightful shave. Very smooth, very close. Uh, for me, on the mild side, but very, very efficient. Really, really love this razor. And the key to this razor is their Nick Stop technology. These fins right here on that uh, safety bar. Uh, and that reduces nicks and cuts uh, by a factor of 75% is what they're saying. So this has just been a really, really terrific razor. This came courtesy of viewer Greg from Virginia. Thank you again, Greg. Really do appreciate it. And uh, we, we started to discuss uh, if you were an owner of uh, Supply 2.0 razor, did you have to go out and buy a brand new razor like this in order to get this SE action here? Or was there another option? And there was another option. All you have to do is buy this SE plate and plug it into your 2.0 and you're good to go. Well, uh, Larry Sablotny, a viewer, confirmed that yeah, he was able to buy the SE plate. We've heard that they're $14 on their website and uh, they're available for all the owners of a 2.0 razor. Well, I was really curious, and I really enjoyed this, uh, this razor so much, I decided to go up there and get a uh, Supply 2.0 razor. This is brand new. Now, these are uh, still being sold up there, and once they're gone, they're gone. So I was able to get this one in the matte finish. And here it is. Let's open it up, and I'll show you. Here it is right here. And they give you some instructions with it. And here is the razor right here. All right. When you pull this out, inside you get, let's just set this down. Inside you get some black label blades and also two additional shave setting plates. You get the ultra close and also the comfortable right there, which means that the sensitive is the one that is installed on this razor. So let's pull this out. This is set in there rather firmly, I guess for shipping purposes, so it doesn't move around, jostle around. So you have to kind of pry it out a little bit. And there we are. And I have looked this over uh, once before, once or twice before, before shooting this video. So here we are right here with it. And this is a red dummy blank right there. Ideally, what you want to do is you want to inject a brand new blade into this razor head with something already in there, either an old blade or a dummy blade like this. And uh, we'll probably be doing that also. Maybe I'll manually install a razor blade only because I want to show you that the SE shave setting fits in a 2.0, uh, fits in the 2.0 razor. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and take open this up and show you that it is in fact the uh, SE plate with the, with the uh, fins on it right there, okay? So there it is. Okay, there is the SE plate. And we're going to go ahead and install that. Now, what is the markings on the back? It has uh, this kind of marking on the back here. Let you know, I guess, I guess this indicates that it's the SE plate. The others have um, a number of dots on the back of the pl plate. For instance, the comfortable setting here is going to have these two dots on the back of the plate and the ultra close is going to have these three dots on the back of the plate uh, somewhere along here. So if you see one without this marking, you see one, it's going to be sensitive. If you see two of these, it's going to be 
comfortable. If you see three, you know it's ultra close. That's, that's how they've done their marking system. And I'll show you with the sensitive here. So we are going to remove this, this little knob right here. First time I'm pulling this off. And I would not recommend you do this over the sink because uh, <laughs> you don't want to lose it down the drain. You may want to buy an extra one of these screws with the spring right there. And just to have a spare one, just in case, for some reason, you do lose it. Okay, so here we are right here. We've taken this apart, and we're going to just pull this off like this. All right, so there it is. So let me set this down. And again, this is just a blank. That's all it is. It's just like, looks like a little piece of aluminum is all it is. Okay, and it is, yeah, it's, uh, it's not sharp at all. But I'll probably hang on to this one just for the purposes of maybe loading, uh, loading the razor down the road, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, maybe just install a razor blade itself, shave with it, and then inject a new one. All right, so this, here it is. Here is the, um, the SE plate right here, okay? And here is what the razor, the 2.0, looks like. So we're just going to set this in there. Okay, now ordinarily I would probably... Um, Manually install a blade with this. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to go ahead and screw this in, tighten it down, and just really tighten it up. There we go. And there you go. And there is another SE razor, another supply SE razor right there. Compare that to the one that I've been using, okay? This one obviously has the blade in it. This one does not. And uh, you know, here's where you inject the blade right there. And uh, same, same size here, all right? And that's it. That's how easy it is. Now, uh, before we uh, exit this video, here is the, the straight bar sensitive plate, okay? And there is that one. Uh, circular indentation there lets you know that it's the sensitive plate. Um, and then here is, I'll just show you this one here just so you can see the difference. This is the comfortable setting right here. Let's open this up here and pull this one out. Okay, okay. There it is right there, okay. Two of them like that. Two dots on the back, that means it's the comfortable setting. So there you go. If you have, and you probably, if you have the 2.0, you already know this. Um, but if you have the, the 2.0 and want to upgrade to the SE razor, you don't have to buy the entire razor. All you got to do is buy that plate and then you've got an SE razor. You're good to go. How about that? That is really, really cool. So I just wanted to show that to you, just kind of let you know that that's, what it, that's what's going on. We're going to shave with this. I think we're going to shave with the comfortable plate, uh, to be perfectly honest with you. And uh, we'll, we'll make that a, a separate video here. Um, maybe get uh, two days worth of growth. I know uh, maybe I'll let this grow out a little bit, do, do, do two days worth of growth, and then uh, plug in the, uh, the comfortable uh, plate and see how that compares with the SE plate. Just really curious about it. Really terrific, terrific, terrific single-edge razors. I'm really enjoying the SE razor, and I look forward to using uh, this SE razor and also uh, the razor with uh, the the three other plates. The ultra close, eh, well, I don't know, might be too close for me. We'll see. But I'm looking forward to using both the sensitive and the comfortable plates, maybe even the ultra close. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so to give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out the executive shaving company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog. For my comic strip, George, other cartoons, other videos like this, I'm on Facebook. Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for some great, great shaving gear. Check out vikingsblade.com for some great shaving gear. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady, where you'll find all the products I review in this channel Organize and categorize so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.